guys what's up what is going on so today we're going to be quickly just discussing the whole uh, trump one and just kind of like our thoughts about the whole situation um so i guess i'll go first so a lot of people have been asking me like what i thought about it because i've been kind of silent about the whole situation and to be honest i'm just more so like you know what it is what it is because at the end of the day if you ever watched movies like Hunger Games or Legion or Divergent where the government is kind of controlling everything, I really feel like that's how those were really showing things that are occurring in real life in America. And although they were movies, they were very similar to real life because those are things that are happening. Like the government tells us we have to do something, then we have to do it. They tell us we have to get these shots to save our lives. Regardless, we don't really know what's in there. We have to take it. Immunizations. Kids have to get it in order to go to school. It, it's all these things that the government tells you you have to do. And if you don't, then you're pretty much... I don't know, like you're going to be not able to do whatever it is that you want to do. You'll be eliminated. Well, I mean, not as extreme as a lot of those movies, but you get the point of what I'm saying. So I feel like that's just how it is. And you guys know I've been having, you know, health issues and things like that. So at the end of the day, like to me, that's more important than stressing myself and worrying about what Trump's going to do and how it's going to affect black people and how it's going to cause more racist people to come out of the shadows most likely is what I've been hearing and I feel like a lot of black people like they they're getting upset but yet a lot of people did not vote a lot of people said oh I don't they're both evil I don't want to I don't want to vote for either one of them or they were saying oh um you know my vote doesn't count things like that so but I feel like he, them saying that just kind of was just being negative and just probably made a lot of this happen as well. I do know that there were protests in places like Cleveland and they were actually burning um, garbage cans and things like that. But who knows if half of those people even voted, you know what I mean? And a lot of states where we thought might have been ma the majority would have been black people or would have been people that would have been Hillary supporters they turned out to be Republican states. Like Florida, the last time I actually checked on it because I didn't watch the whole thing because I just was like over it, I fell asleep. I saw that the majority in Florida was actually voting for Trump as well as, I don't remember, I think Kentucky. It was a few states, I don't remember all of them, but it was a few that kind of like shocked me. I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna happen, but we just never know. And a lot of people, they come out of the shadows and they vote and majority rules at the end of the day. So that's just how it is. I mean, the only thing that I'm really, I guess you can say, would be or should be worried about is the whole immigration policy. That's the only thing that really like deterred me from or just made me not really want to F with him. You know what I mean? Like I was just like over him when I heard his immigration policy and how he was talking about Mexicans and all these different groups and women in general and just I just feel like a lot of the things that he said people were saying oh he's just said it because he wanted certain people to be on his side now they're defending him saying that he's most likely not going to be that way but why would you say those things at the end of the day you can't take back things that you said and one of the things that I'm protected under is called DACA, which is Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, people that have been here since they went to school here, preschool, kindergarten, first, second grade, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and 10th, 11th, 12th, and on to college and so forth. And then they realize that they're immigrants and there's nothing they can do. They can't get a job even though they've spent all this money on college. So people like myself were able to get jobs and things like that based upon this you know it was no fault of your own that your parents decided to bring you from one country into another one and allow you to grow up there and not know anything about your culture or where you're from and i don't think you should be penalized for that you know and that's what it sounds like he wants to do he wants to drop that whole um what is it called the action the the what is it presidential action or whatever it was that the president did 
and just kind of you know off with that and you know that would affect most likely millions of people and not even just the the people per se that have signed up for this and were protected under that status but also their families their kids their parents that they might be taking care of uh you know their cousins it's a lot of people that depend on that one person in a lot of situations so it's just like a, it will be a trail effect where it would most likely cause more people to be on public assistance or try to apply but maybe under his new rules and policies perhaps they won't be able or be eligible to get those things and if you do get on public assistance then you're most likely not going to be eligible in order to get your citizenship because that could affect that negatively so it's like you're stuck either way the only thing that you'd most likely be able to get is if you have a child that's a uh, United States citizen, then perhaps you can get something for them. But as far as the person, there's nothing. And those are the types of things that, you know, kind of run across my head a little bit here and there. But I'm like, you know what, I'm not going to stress myself. Um, you know, you just got to live life, be grateful and thankful that you're alive. And, you know, I've definitely become more and more grateful each and every day that I wake up and I'm able to see my son and to see the sun in general and just to be able to smell and breathe and just be able to do another thing and start over, you know, another day. And that's what I'm concerned about at this moment in time. I'm just over the whole election. I'm happy that it's over and now we know who the president is. So we don't have to like build up all this anticipation, anxiety, stress and whatever that people have been feeling. And we just got to wait till I guess January when he's sworn into office and see what happens next. I guess this is a case of to be continued, right? Alright guys, well thanks for watching. I definitely would like to know what you guys think about this whole election. And um, it's a little bit of a joke, right? <laughs> Um, yeah, so I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say and no judgment, judgment-free zone. If you're a Trump supporter, then, you know, that's all good and well. More power to you. If not, then right on. We was, we was both here. All right. Stay fabulous, live free, and soar limitless. I'll see you in the next one. Later.